today we have brought the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda to Narok, kwa hii value chain ya leather, which has, identif has been identified as a key value chain for job creation and economic development and transformation in our country. Uh, tumeona hii factory ya Ewasonyiro South Development Authority ya kutengeneza leather na tumekuja hapa kama team ya PSS kuangalia vile tunaweza inua hii sekta yetu ya leather ndio watoto wetu na vijana wetu wapate kazi. Ilo kitu muhimu tumeona hapa sana na nataka kuambia wafugaji na wale wakulima sana sana wanafuga ngombe na kondoo na mbuzi maneno ya kuweka alama e, hii kuweka alama kwa ngozi ya mifugo inaribu hiyo quality na ikikuja hapa ndio itengenezwe viatu na vitu zingine uh, inakuwa imeharibika so ukichinja ngombe ukichinja mbuzi ukichinja kondoo tafadhali sasa uliza chifu wako ama mtu wa county mahali unaweza peleka hiyo ngozi peleka kwa soko ndio uuze hiyo ngozi kwa bei nafuu pia wewe upate kitu ya kuweka kwa mfuko hii ndio biashara sasa tunasema inaweza kuwa biashara kubwa zaidi kwa vijana wetu huko mashinani kama serikali kuu tuko na hamu kubwa sana kuhakikisha hii sekta yetu ya leather tumeinua ndio watu wetu wapate kazi na hizi mafactory tutaenda tufungue mahali mbalimbali leo tuko na rock kuna ingine isiolo tutaenda kufungua kuna ingine huko machakos kenani tutaenda kufungua tuhakikishe viatu za polisi viatu za watu wa army viatu za watu wa prisons viatu za watoto e, shule ya msingi na secondary zote zinatoka hapa hapa e, na rock na kuingine mahali tunatengeneza hizo viatu it's not going to be business as usual we're not going to be importing shoes anymore while well, we can make shoes locally here for our people, for our armed forces, and for our schools. So we are committed for this value chain. As you can see, we've come very many PSs from very many ministries because we're all working together to make sure that we uplift this sector of ours called leather. That way we can create jobs and then also transform our economy.